Hey everybody, Ben here working on the battery pack from my 2013 Tesla Model S. We are looking at one module out of that battery. There's 16 of them total. And right now I have this on a 3D printed stand to hold it vertical. I'm actually filming this sideways because something tall and skinny doesn't work real well on a 16 by nine. Um, and I wanted you to be able to see all this at once. As I pulled the modules out, I did mark them um, from where they came from in the battery pack. So this would be the fourth one from the back left corner. Uh, I got that marked on tape. I also just used a marker and wrote right on the side of the module. But uh, for the ends, for easy identification, number right here works well. So I had an issue with one of these boards, and there's one of these circuit boards on the end of each of these 16 modules. And what it is, is that this one, uh, or not this one, but one of them was corroded enough that it reported an incorrect voltage, and that threw an error, which stopped the car from being drivable at all. And I wanna make sure I don't ever get that error again. And it seems like part of what the issue is, is, um, on the, there's this clear plastic case uh, around the module. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is peel off some of these, uh, this Kepton tape. So there's kind of a clamshell, uh, one piece of clear plastic on either side of this thing. This is the bottom, this is the top. And I'm going to be able to pull away the top now. And notice here that there's this kind of a big clear plastic tab. But if I pull away the bottom, there's a little piece of double sided tape here and here. So I got to get that tape off. You'll notice over here, there's also sort of a big tab. And the issue is those both overlap each other by quite a lot, by about, you know, a good inch plus. And what happens is we've got some capacitors right over here that they're near the very edge of the board and near, near the very top. So when these are put together and overlap, that plastic can actually rub on those capacitors there. And if you have that going on and get some moisture into the pack, you can get corrosion on those capacitors, causes that air and hey, we got nothing but trouble. The other possibility here, um, and I, I haven't seen this on any of these modules yet, is that on the side, we have some wires coming off that board that they're BMS wires and they connect to the pack in a couple different spots. In theory, another issue could be if one of those wires came loose. I have not found any at all yet that are loose, none whatsoever. But what I'm gonna do is just, well, I've got these modules out of the pack, I'm gonna pull back the clear plastic shell and just check those wires where they make that connection, just to make sure they're still solidly on there. Um, and do that with uh, three wires on the one side and four wires on the other side. Just making sure they didn't somehow come loose. <clears throat> but they're all soldered or welded on there uh, really, really well. Haven't had any issues. This is the older style battery pack. Uh, those BMS sensing wires are on very, very solidly. Uh, again, this is a 2013 model year. On the newer ones, I don't remember what year it started, probably 2016, um, those wires were actually more little tiny things, uh, more like those individual wires going from uh, each cell to kind of this plate here. So on this side here also, you can see we have these wires and I'm just gonna make sure, yep, they're not, none of them's broken off. Nothing weird going on there. And it's just three on that side. 
so then uh, the very last thing I'm going to do here, I'm, well, not last. We still got a couple more steps. <laughs> so with that, um, these plastic parts overlapping, what I'm going to do is take this and wiggle it back and forth until I can just snap that off. And that way, there won't be this overlapping piece of plastic um, that's going to rub against those capacitors and possibly damage them, cause corrosion, cause errors in that uh, voltage, voltage signal. So that's something that should have been done at the factory. <laughs> it really is. But, you know, it takes a couple of seconds to do at times however many cars. So, you know, how car companies are. So with those out of the way, I'm also going to completely remove this board. And the reason why is then I can have all of them off. I can inspect all of them. I can compare one to the next to the next. And also any of these that maybe I, I can't even see any um, corrosion there. I think I'm just going to add a little conformal coating over the top. Um, down along here's another spot that uh, sometimes can get some corrosion. So I'm just going to use uh, little pliers here and pull out these pins that hold in the board. And this is so easy for me to do until I'm on camera and then, you know, nothing works right. It never helps to have a camera in the way either. Um, oh, almost forgot a step here. So the other thing that I've also been doing is on, on every one of these is using this doohickey here. And what this is, is a little interface that'll go right to the board. I can just plug it in right where the BMS connection in the car would go, right here. Make sure I've got power for it. And now I'm not expecting anything to be wrong on here because um, when I, I had this in the car, it was just this one spot, this one intermittent error. So if I just take a quick look here, it gives me the big green thumbs up. Yeah, you're in spec. And the voltages are looking very, very much the same as um, all the other batteries. And if I did want to record this, I found that the easiest way to do it is there's this nice kind of empty spot down here. Just say which battery it is, and then take a photo of that. Um, that way I have a, a record of it. And then once that's disconnected, down here, Hmm, gotta be sure of this. So down here we have the connection to those uh, seven BMS wires. Just gotta press the release and then pull. Comes out real easy. The other one with the yellow and the blue wires, those are for the two temperature sensors. That was the other information that we saw um, on the little display that I plugged in there, which if you're interested in that, um, I have a interview with the guy who created that and you will find that in the video description. Now, the other thing that I'm doing here, um, I am also, uh, marking down the module number on the board. Uh, that way I don't get them confused with anything else. Uh, and part of it is because of the position. Um, there are certain spots in the battery pack, like kind of in front, right behind the front tires, that are more likely to get corrosion. Um, so I want to know where this board came from. So I'm just going to uh, use my Sharpie here, say it's board number four.
and then um, I'm going to examine it. I got a my oops my Harbor Freight fine quality jeweler's loop right here, and I'm going to examine right at uh, those capacitors there, and right along here. That's the other spot that I um, potential for corrosion. So that's it. I'll set this off to the side. I'm going to replace the capacitors on uh, a couple of the boards that were bad. And on the other ones, I think I'll just do a little uh, touch up with some conformal coating. Um, so that's it for now. But I'm just uh, chipping away, fixing up this old Tesla Model S battery pack.